Unlike static secrets, dynamic secrets are generated when they are accessed and can be revoked immediately after use. Here you can see several secrets engines enabled, including the AWS Secrets Engine. I've also created some roles as part of the configuration. After enabling the AWS Secrets Engine, you must configure it to authenticate and communicate with AWS using a privileged AWS account credential. And as you can see, this role for IAM user has credentials assigned and a policy assigned that allows them to take action describing EC2 regions. Next, I'll generate credentials on demand. As you can see, I can do it dynamically when I click the button, but this can also be automated as part of the process. I've got an access key and a secret key, and then also a lease ID. It has a default duration, but this lease ID can be set to meet your needs. So I'm going to click to copy those credentials over. Now I'm jumping into my vault terminal to configure our secure connection to AWS for dynamic credentials management. We'll need to export and use the access key and the secret key. Once I've done that, then I can run a command to test the privileges that I have. So I'm going to ask to describe those EC2 regions, and the results I get back show that the credentials that I was provided by the policy assigned to my role give me that capability. Now I'm going to run a command to revoke that lease. And that was successful. Once that lease is revoked, I'm now going to try to run that command again to describe regions. And as we can see, it has failed because I no longer have permissions. This has been a simple demonstration, but provides a good example of the improved security provided by dynamic credentials.